Hello and welcome. I have a very interesting experiment to do today with this. Stay tuned. As of today, I've had my channel for about a year and three months, and from the very, very beginning, I've been wanting to redo my intro screen. I'll play that again for you here. So I threw that up really quick so that I would have some kind of intro to this channel. That is the view from my side deck, and a little painting I did back when I was like a freshman in high school of myself. <laughs> That's the little picture of the girl. Anyway, I've been wanting to redo that intro from the beginning and I just wasn't quite sure what to do. I've always had kind of an idea and today I'm just gonna jump in and see if I can get this to work. So I have printed this off with a font using Microsoft Word. I have a piece of B 100% cotton watercolor paper here. It's pretty thin. Well, it's supposedly 140 pound, but I'm gonna tape it down so it's not a big deal. I have my light board so I can not have to freehand these words. I will put this behind this, turn the light board on, and trace all this goodness right through here, okay? And then I have this really cool effect that I wanna try and do with my core watercolors. So that is where the scrap paper is going to come into play that I showed you in the art haul from home video because I need to refresh my memory on if the colors that I really wanna use in this intro will spread like I want it to. That's what we're going to experiment with today. Wish me luck. Well, shoot, we are foiled from the very beginning. I made printout too wide. <laughs> I thought I had measured. The ruler on the computer said it was right, but I need to bring this in about a half inch or so on each side. Time to reprint that and try again. All reprinted while I was reprinting that. Oh yeah, that fits way better. I went ahead and printed an alternate font as well, something that's a little easier to read so that I can try both of those things. Real quick, I'm not going to trace this other font until I play with this one and see how this even works. So I've chosen my core paints because they spread really, really easily, usually. <laughs> so the chick now will be choosing some colors that I want. I know the indigo spreads nicely and indigo is one of my favorite colors. So I think we will try that on this little scrap paper here. So what I'm going to do is just put a line of water just like it would be if it were a word. And I wanna see how far this paint will actually spread. I can't even see my line. <laughs> oh, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> Indigo is a good choice. It does lighten up a lot though. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm also thinking maybe the quinacridone magenta might be a fun option. So let's do something that's more like an actual letter. See, you gotta keep your scraps. I have a feeling it's gonna need to be pretty wet here to spread like I want it to, which is gonna be quite a challenge. Okay, let's get some Quinn Magenta going on here. And then the next question is where to drop it in. Okay, kinda sorta works. Let's try the other color I was thinking of, the Thalo Blue Green shade. We'll do something else that's more like a letter. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Any other colors? Ooh, transparent pyrrole orange. Yeah. Uh-oh, I touched the blue. Oh no, emergency. My experiment done, wa done gone wrong. <laughs> that made no sense, but that's okay. I think that little test was kind of foiled. Let's do it on this here. Okay, it travels not as easily. I'd love to have cobalt teal, but that color is so hard to re-wet. That's kind of pointless. Let's go ahead and at least see, whoops, what the cerulean blue looks like. Let's do a name in water, a part of the name. And I'm tilting the paper so I can see exactly how much liquid <laughs> is on this cerulean blue chromium. So it's gonna take several dabs, like, which is not the effect I was hoping for, but I could probably change that in editing. Ultramarine blue, quinacridone gold, maybe, yeah. Oh. That's pretty. Oh, definitely indigo, quin gold. What would go with those two colors? Maybe just repeat the indigo. Yeah, I think just those two colors. Hmm. All right, let's do a practice run. Get the brush out of my mouth so you guys can understand me. 
Oh my God, that's so awesome. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I think I had it off screen partly. I'm so sorry. <sighs> that was incredibly uh, incredible. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's do the whole word with. Yeah. Nice, but not creamy enough. Nope, that one's not a spreader. Permanent alizarin crimson is out of the running. Really lighten those up where they're almost invisible. Apparently going to take all day, in case you were wondering. I have watercolor on my knuckle and now it's on my paper. I have a feeling this may be a multiple try operation. <laughs> Especially because it's going to take so long to get the water just right. I'm going to have to keep redoing it. Okay, here goes everything. Are you ready? I'm not. I don't know what consistency to do the paint. <laughs> okay. Not quite what I was hoping for. All right, let's do the next one. I should have taped this down because I actually need this to not move. Oh, that's awesome. Ready, Freddies? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> but I definitely should have taped it down because it's gonna be in different places now. So when I edit this into my intro, like I'm thinking of, it's not gonna work quite like I need it to. Oh well, we have to just do another one. Cool, except for the H, that one was really pretty. Can't really tell that that says with, so I might make that bigger. But I think I'm getting the hang of how much water we need on this. And I did determine that each sheet of this B paper cost 50 cents to use. So every practice one <laughs> is gonna cost me 50 cents. And I think we should make a nice creamy Quinn magenta and make a big mess. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Now I have to clean up my desk. It really doesn't show up. Okay, well, it's not quite big enough. All right, it has been reprinted bigger, but I still don't like it, so I did something else. <laughs> it, it's just still all too spread out here on this. So what I did is stretch the letters and I'm going to like stack them like that, except closer to each other, and try that. Okay, wish me luck here. I let this dry with some heavy stuff over the top of it. Fresh my water. Now I'm nervous, but we gotta get started. <laughs> we gotta get finished, I should say. It is time to finish this puppy. I'm for the lettering. I decided having a background would be a good idea. But now the letters are a lot bigger, so this could be challenging. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm not. <laughs> We'll have to see how that'll come together in editing. It's very dark right there. Well, I don't know. I think I erased my pencil lines a little too much. They're hard to see. I mean, I can't see these pencil lines at all. Oh, there, there they are. Are we ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> Last one. Because now we have to wait and see how this comes together in Editing. See if we've got a winner or not. <laughs> I suspect not. That's not quite what I was thinking, but um, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So let's refresh your memory on how it was before. And this is how it came together in editing. Well, what do you guys think? Is it better? I hope so. I may still do some tweaking to it, but we'll see. For now, that's all the time I have, and we're gonna stay with that for the next few videos at least. Make sure you hit the like button down below. It really helps my channel out. Subscribe if you're new, if you find this kind of interesting, and a lot of other watercolor goodness, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> Uh-oh, I messed up. Emergency.